Good morning, Alicia. It's still unclear what exactly will come out of that news conference later today. But what we do know is that there are thousands of these attackers walking free in the streets of Detroit. And we're expected to find out a little bit more about what's being done to put these rapists behind bars. Now, the press conference today is being held by Governor Rick Snyder in Lansing, as you mentioned. He will be joined by Michigan State Police, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy, and other sexual violence prevention groups. Now, this announcement coming after more than 11 11,000 rape kits that had never been tested for DNA matches were found stashed away in a Detroit police warehouse back in 2009. Now, since Prosecutor Kim Worthy has been pushing to get these kits tested and get the much needed funding for it. Now, back in July, the Detroit Crime Commission gave a grant to her office allowing for five detectives for the year to look at the kits and try to tie attackers to the rape cases. Her office saying then about 10,000 of them dating back to 1984, some of them were in the process of being tested and so far more than 2,000 DNA matches have been made. Now again, Detroit kids make up the majority of those in Wayne County waiting to be tested. Again, this news conference is happening today. It will be in Lansing at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Of course, we will be there and let you know exactly what comes out of it. We're live this morning in downtown Detroit. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.